I have read many Quran translations and commentaries over the years. Some of them have been intentionally misleading in their translations. Some of them have been partial. Most of them have had some words in parentheses are such that should have been in footnotes or in a separate section. Some of this has been putting terms as jargon. Some of it has been like the translator themselves had some problem with English or Arabic. Some of them, of course, have been quite excellent. For the most part, the issues have been with the commentaries, which I think are best left separate from the text in headers and footers to the chapters are sections before the translation and the Quran, or after the translation and Quran. Robert Spencer seems to combine all the problems to scientific and theological inquiry into al Quran, all into one volume. This is heavily praised, not because it's more scholarly than the other works, or because it's exposed some flaw in Islam. Quite the contrary. Robert Spencer makes it look like he doesn't know English, like he doesn't know Arabic, is one clear issue. He confuses some issues by twisting some sayings and some verses, either to make the language not sound very good, which people really can't imitate the Quran, but that he tries to make points that people don't. Like, if you don't know that Sharia and Jihad and some other things mean different in Arabic, and have a different connotation in Islam, you know, you might go along with some of this stuff. The dialectical differences don't show any contradictions. And he makes it sound like nobody actually knew what some of the words meant and they just made it up. And that wasn't true either. If you look up any of the things in which he criticizes Islam, in context, his points fall through. 